Good morning. Why is my yard such a hit in the neighborhood? Yes, it's spooky and fun, but it also tells a story. Now, stories are how we connect with people. It's why brands sell. It's for history, you know, how history is made. We connect to, through stories. And if you become a better storyteller, then you can sell more jewelry. Now, I'm gonna give you three tips that'll help you sell more jewelry and become that great storyteller you need to become a better salesman. Number one, the first step to become a better storyteller is to look for stories in everything. When you go to the grocery store, you know, look at that bread, you know, why, why do people buy that bread or, you know, a face cream? What's the story behind that? What gives it value and why did you want to buy it? Number two, start asking everyone their story. You know, if a couple comes in, you know, you ask them, you know, how did you meet, um, and uh, oh, what, what are some of your interests? Not only does that how you connect with people, but also you can use those stories later in the sale. So let's say she really likes biking. You know, oh, you love biking. Well, this ring's perfect because it's so bright. It'll be like a headlight. You won't even need like a, a light on your bike. Or oh, she likes cooking. You know, um, this ring is awesome because it doesn't have a lot of crevices where food could get stuck in it. So it's perfect for, for a good cook. So you connect to people through stories and then you can even use their stories to help close sales. So it's wonderful two levels and number three I really like this one how you become a better storyteller is using people's stories to the next customer okay so here's an example you know oh you like this ring well did you know the couple that came in a couple hours ago you know they met when they were exchange students in Germany and they couldn't keep their hands off it would you I bet you like what they liked about it also this ring just became more valuable. Before, it was just gold and diamonds, and now it's a ring that an, a couple that met and exchanged to it in Germany fell in love with. It now has a story, it now has more value. You didn't even add more gold to this, and now this is a more valuable ring because you added a story. You can also just kind of um, use a story from like, you, you know, your story. Oh, I found these diamonds when I was in Antwerp, or oh, this was my favorite ring at the JCK show. Any story that you can attribute to a piece of jewelry adds value. I've even been told that you can make little cards. You know, when you go to like an art show or something, they always have like a little card about the artist and telling the story. Well, you can even make little cards in your cases for each piece of jewelry too, because that story is what people buy. They don't buy jewelry, they buy emotion and they buy stories. So hopefully that'll help you sell a little more. Oh, I got one more tip on the um, using stories I wanted to add in, sorry about that. Okay. Um, Stories can also help sell your service plan. So let's say um, you have a really good warranty. And you say, oh, you know Mrs. Johnson, she was just here. She's been coming here for 35 years. Every six months she comes in and gets her prongs checked. Did you know we have a lifetime guarantee on our jewelry? That lifetime warranty just became more valuable because of Mrs. Johnson. Just telling the story about how Mrs. Johnson comes in, it, it, it gives the person a visual, it makes it us more relatable. So anything you say, if you can attribute a story to it, it'll help you sell more jewelry. Thank you and hopefully we all become uh, better storytellers.